Hi, this is a tutorial for using the custom node in Unreal Engine. So that's the custom expression in the materials. So first thing we're going to have to do is create ourselves a material. So we're just going to get material, I'm just going to call it custom. Uh, it's very simple. So we're going to go to here. And the only thing we really need is, well, the only thing we need to begin with is our custom node. So. As you can see, it's a pretty simple node. However, there's this thing called code, which is basically the entire point of it. So I'm going to go and get some code. So I've gone to Shader Toy. Uh, it, you can just really easily, really easily access this. And I'm mostly interested in this line of code here. Now, what this is, is if you're not familiar with really how shaders work, shaders are tiny little programs you put on your GPU to make stuff shaded or textures or whatever. Unreal Engine uses them, but we're all everybody who uses Unreal Engine is generally way more familiar with the materials. And this is a good place to say, I'm not really massively great at shaders, I'm just showing you how to do this, simple stuff. But I understand how they work, and you know, it's just really a C-like programming language essentially. So, you know, you've got your void, you've got your, your function, your inputs, etc., and your data types. So, we're interested in this line of code pretty much. Now, Unreal Engine only wants a tiny portion of this, it only wants this, it doesn't want anything else, it just wants the mathematical expression. So, we put this here, and we're going to have a few problems because, well, there's first of all um, some variables in here that we need to modify. So as you can see, we have time and UV. So both of those need to be variables, so time. Now, if we look here, we can see that UV was calculated um, by the real equation. Now, we don't want to do that in Unreal Engine because Unreal Engine already has its own stuff for UV coordinates, so we don't need that. Instead, we just have time and we just have UV. And then we also see this VEC3 here, and we all doesn't want to read it. Now the reason it's a bit different is partly because we are just pasting it into our engine and we're not meant to write entire shaders in this node. And another reason is that what Shader Tor uses is called GLSL, and what Emil uses is called HLSL. Now the latter, HLSL, is used in DirectX, which is what Emil uses. It's generally the Windows renderer, as opposed to OpenGL, which is what GLSL is for, which is just for everything, it's more simple, but it's not quite as fast. And as I'm talking about efficiency, these nodes, custom nodes, not as efficient as other stuff, so don't go using them thinking, hey, I'm going to write my code custom, and it's going to be way more efficient than just the regular nodes. It's not like C++ and Blueprints, because people who write Unreal Engine, really smart, way better than us monkeys who like to tap on our keyboards and get really happy when the colours look nice and bright or whatever. They know what they're doing, so they've made a lot of optimizations. So it's generally best to use the, um, the functions that are in the blueprints. It's also way easier, um, and it's just designed that way. But anyway, that would work. And then we're just going to hook up a time node and a texture to D node. Uh, not, not sorry, not a texture to a text called node. Hook those up, and now it's not going to look exactly the same, but it's going to look close enough that you get the idea. And then we can um, just pull a just pull a plane into the environment and have a look at it. And as you can see, it changes color. Um, so yeah, that's the tutorial. If you liked it, like and subscribe.